Hey there, in this tutorial we'll talk about source control. It's something that allows you to have version control so you can go back to any previous versions of your code easily. Online backup so you never lose anything even if your computer dies. The ability to collaborate with others so you can work with your teammates without having to send those YYZs back and forth each time. And you can have all of this for free. So why would anyone not want this? You could lose your files from an error in Game Maker or if your hard disk crashed. Using source control can save your projects from these dangers. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can set up source control with Bitbucket and Git. Git is a tool that allows you to manage your repositories on your computer. Bitbucket is a website that lets you host those projects online. So let's get to it. I'll go to bitbucket.org and sign in from my account. I'll click here and then here to create a repository. I'll enter a name for the repository, leave this checked since I want a private repo and under include a readme, I'll select yes with a template. This is required for the repo to work properly. Then I'll hit create repository. Then the repo will be created. Now you need to download git from here. Link will be in the description. After it's done installing, open git bash. Here you need to enter your Bitbucket email like this. And then your Bitbucket username. Then you can close it. Now we'll clone the repository we just created. This will make a copy on your computer. So go to the folder where you want the repository, right click and select git gui here. Then click on clone existing repository. Now you need to get a link to your repo. I'll open my repo in Bitbucket, click on clone, make sure this is HTTPS and copy the link. Now I'll go back to git gui, in the source location I'll paste the link. Make sure you remove the git clone bit in the beginning. For the target directory, click on browse and hit select folder. Then in the path, you'll need to add the folder name for the repo. Now hit clone. It'll start the process of downloading the files. It may also ask you to log in to your Bitbucket account. When it's done, you'll see this window. Here you can manage your local repo. It's very simple to update a repo. So as an example, I'll create a text file in my repo. Then I'll right click and select git gui here. Here you can see the files that have been added or changed. You can accept these changes by clicking on state change. Then you need to add a commit message describing the update and click commit. This will save your changes locally. To update it on Bitbucket, you'll need to click on push and then push again. Then it'll be updated. If you open the repo page on Bitbucket, you'll see the new text file there. If you already have a project that you want to upload to Bitbucket, you'll still have to create a new repo and clone it on your computer. For this to work, open File Explorer options, click on the View tab and make sure the Hidden Files and Folders option is set to Show. After cloning the repo, copy all the files and paste them in your project. Then you'll be able to open git gui and update your repo with your project files. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this helped you. Make sure you start using source control now so that you never lose your files. Check out my other tutorials for learning more and subscribe now to stay updated with more tutorials. So I'll see you in the next one.